are back at the top of the mountain. It's gonna be the first run of the day. Natalia's downstairs, down at the Airbnb, feeling a little sore from the first day. So it's just gonna be me up here today. It's our last day in Nazawa Onsen, but excited to be back in Tokyo tomorrow. So let's do a few runs. Let's go. Ow! Well, today was a terrible ski day. Look at this, this is how bad, how bad it is over here. Like, how are you supposed to snowboard in this? This is ridiculous. Worst ski season in the Zawa ever. Wow. Holy crap. Jesus, man. It's all dirt. But I never showed you guys what our Airbnb looks like. So I figured since I'm back now from snowboarding, why not show you guys and give you guys a tour of where we're actually staying. So we're technically staying in a bed and breakfast. I'd like to consider it a hostel, but because we do have bunk beds and all that, so as soon as you come into the entranceway, you have dining tables, which they offer breakfast and dinner. When you guys see these steps, that means you have to take your shoes off and put on slippers or socks. Here you have more tables that everybody can sit at. Um, everything over here on this other side is all bunk beds. So I'll show you ours in just a minute. Um, they do offer free water, hot water, tea, and cups, as well as utensils. And then you can purchase sake, or beer, or snacks, if you didn't bring any. They do offer a snowboard and ski rentals, and they have a kitchen right back here where they can cook you something up for breakfast or lunch or dinner. Oh yeah, they offer only snowboards, not, not uh, skis. All right, let's show you guys our rooms. So Natalia has the bottom bed. So it's basically just a mattress with a blanket and a sleeping bag over top of it with a pillow. 
and hangers up top with a window. And then I have these fun little steps that I have to go up every single night to my room. And I have the second bed. So it's literally the same layout. I have a cool little cubby here with my chargers and my laptop. And then if we go up all the way, more hanging space for my coats and all my bags go in the other way. So it's a very basic um, room layout. I mean, it's just a single bed and they're all stacked on top of each other. Everybody's really friendly. Lights out is at 12 or 11 or 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock and they lock the doors after 12 o'clock. So you can't really go out and drink all night, unfortunately. Um, so let's go back down. All right, bathroom tour. Ooh, it's dark in here. Very basic bathroom. So you have a sink, a mirror, and two toilets, one for women, one for men, and that's all. So there is no shower as you can see in the bathroom. Um, yeah, that's just basically it. There's no shower. Um, so in the Zawa onsen, there are onsens obviously. So basically they're like community bathrooms and you go in, you take off your, all your clothes, it's all nude. Um, you shower before you go into the onsen and the onsen is just basically like a jacuzzi or a hot tub. So you go in and soak for 30 minutes um, after your ski or your snowboarding after the day, which I will probably do after this. But the basic rules you guys need to know is that it's no clothes, fully nude, and you need to shower before you go into the onsen. And one of the biggest rules is no shoes allowed. So don't make that mistake. But yeah, this is a very basic Airbnb. It costs us $50 a night, I believe, which is 500 yen. Or no, 5,000 yen. 5,000 yen a night. It includes your bed and that's it. Um, you can do laundry here. We haven't done any yet though, but um, it's really very basic for a ski town. It's really all you need. There are other options here for apartment styles, apartment style rooms worth a shower and all that. It's gonna be much more expensive though because during the winter season, you're paying close to $200 a night for that kind of stuff. So we wanted to save a little money and this is literally all you need. And the manager here, the host is very friendly. He's like the most amazing guy here. He literally comes around and gives us sake shots after we come home from snowboarding. <laughs> so highly recommend this place guys. I mean, the only, the only downside to this place is you do have a very far walk because we're located at the very bottom of Nazawa Onsen. So you have a very long hike up the mountain. But other than that, it's, it's good. It's great. I love it. Anything else? <laughs> You're like, it's good. That's it's great. great. I love yeah. it. Eh. <laughs> so they do rent out snowboards. They do not rent skis. So if you want skis, you have to go to the very top of the mountain where they do ski rentals. And these are all the boards. It's like you have hats, you have boots, and goggles if you guys need them. The rentals here cost uh, approximately 4,500 yen a day for a rental, or 5,000 yen, I don't remember exactly. And the ticket prices for your lift, for the lift tickets, are I believe like 5,000 yen a day. And you get a bit of a discount if you rent for multiple days. One major thing you guys do need to know though, we came here without exchanging all of our money from Tokyo. So if you come to Nazawa Onsen, you should bring all cash in yen because the only place to exchange money here is at the very top at the lift um, where you buy your tickets. So the exchange rate is very bad there. It's terrible. The exchange rate we got was, I believe 102 yen per, dollar, per US dollar. And the normal exchange rate is 109 and a half yen per dollar. So we lost about almost $10 for every hundred that we exchanged. So it's quite a bit of money. It's like a thousand yen you lose for each hundred dollars you exchange. So before you come to Nozawa, don't make the same mistake we did. Make sure you exchange all of your money in Tokyo or wherever you're coming in from because you're gonna have a very bad day exchanging money. The other, so use that as a very last option. Other thing is you can use an ATM here. The ATMs are pretty good. 
The exchange rate is pretty accurate. You will get hit with the foreign exchange rate fee though from your bank as well as the ATM though. So it's about eight to ten dollars usually depending on what bank you're using. So just another thing for you guys to know. So it was an alright day on the mountain. I'm gonna come back here now and have dinner and then tomorrow we are back in Tokyo. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, let me know if you have any questions. If you guys wanna check out this Airbnb, comment below and I will give you a direct link to that and you get $45 off if you use my code on Airbnb. Thumbs up, see you guys, peace.